Let's talk about the top five reasons you should use Elementor for your next podcast website. Number one, it's easy to use, right? The page building experience in Elementor is unmatched. I mean, they have done tremendous things to make the usability of building a website so much easier. It doesn't mean that there's still not a learning curve, uh, but there's the tools, the interface, uh, the design, and even the speed has improved tremendously over uh, the last few years. If you're looking for that real native, intuitive way to build a website using WordPress, I don't think you can find a better experience than Elementor. Number two, the design options are nearly endless and they just keep coming, which is crazy. Um, they have tons of templates, tons of themes, uh, tons of different widgets or blocks that you can implement uh, into your website. So if you see one layout from a theme that you like within Elementor's library, you just want to use a little piece of that, maybe bring that over to your podcast website, you can do that, which is awesome. You can literally copy and paste uh, sections and then save them as templates. It, truly powerful and tremendously easy. And if you're using Seriously Simple Podcasting plugin, we actually bake in a few awesome landing pages for podcasters. So you can do a subscribe page, uh, a home base for your podcast, for all your podcast needs and subscription links uh, and episode articles. And then you can also do a single post template with Elementor Pro using our uh, seriously Simple Podcasting templates too. So trying to make that world of design a whole heck of a lot easier for you when you combine Elementor and Seriously Simple Podcasting. Reason number three, it's cost. It starts for free, right? You can use Seriously Simple Podcasting templates with the free Elementor uh, page building plugin. So if you're just starting out and you're unsure, like, geez, should I, should I spend the $49, which isn't a whole heck of a lot of money for one website, uh, for their pro plan, including everything you'll get with that pro plan. The free plan, obviously, you can build out your pages. You can build out landing pages. You can use our templates to build out your podcast landing pages. You get a feel for it. You can kind of see where you can go with Elementor. And then as your podcast grows, as your brand grows and your audience is growing, maybe that's when you make the leap to spend on the pro license for the $49 for the websites, which unlocks everything else that comes with Elementor. Fantastic. Free. $49, you really can't beat it. Reason number four is Elementor is a complete package. Once you upgrade to their pro plan for the $49, it unlocks a whole bunch of features. I mean, you get all of these new designs and templates. You get some more advanced features for building out your WordPress website, but you unlock things like the form lead capture. So if you're, you know, just want contact forms and you don't want to look for another plugin, it's built in. If you want to use those forms to subscribe users to your MailChimp list, your uh, HubSpot list, whatever. There's a lot of marketing tools built into Elementor and they're making advancements on that every day. Uh, they have a pop-up builder too, which I know everyone, they don't like pop-ups, but they work right in a certain context on certain pages uh, with all of their dynamic conditional things that you can set up in Elementor. You can make a really powerful uh, lead gen, lead capture magnet for your podcast. Number five, it has to be the community, right? You already have WordPress, which is the most used content management system on the modern web. So you have a whole bunch of uh, community members and support docs and things that you can find for WordPress. Elementor is growing dramatically at over 5 million websites using Elementor. When you combine the two, like if you want to outsource this stuff eventually, you want to find help, you want to learn how to do things with Elementor and WordPress, it's a massive community. And they're making strides in that every day. They have a whole portal on finding Elementor professionals. So if you've built your podcast website and you're trying to get it to the next step, it's a great place to be, right? Having WordPress and Elementor. Or if you need help connecting things up uh, with other things in your business, again, reach out to that community they can help you with your website. Number six, this is the bonus. Uh, you're using WordPress still, right? So when you're using Elementor, you're using WordPress. And if you're looking to grow your audience for your podcast, it's not just the podcast that makes a difference. It's everything else you do with content marketing, uh, search engine optimization. And WordPress is a phenomenal platform for your blogs, for your podcast, for your PDF downloads, for your e-commerce, for your membership sites. You can do a lot more with WordPress uh, for your podcast. You can manage your podcast through Seriously Simple Podcasting plugin on WordPress, but it also can be your home base for your marketing efforts to driving traffic 
to those landing pages that we help you make with Elementor, get people onto an email list, let them know about new episodes, let them know about your merchandise or your product or your service or your cause. So again, WordPress is that bonus. Like you, you have this rich uh, tool to reach more audience listeners. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Those are the top five with a six bonus for using Elementor for your podcasting website with Seriously Simple Podcasting. If you're looking for a great podcast host, castos.com, you can host your podcast for free using our plugin on your WordPress site. When you're ready to make the leap to going to something a little bit better, you check out castos.com. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you want more. We'll see you in the next video.